வணக்கம் ஆல் ஐ எம் கோம்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் கியூபன் ஸ்கொயர் திஸ் செஷன் இஸ் அபவுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் த ஓப்பன் ஷிஃப்ட் இன்ஜினியர்ஸ் டே டு டே ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் ஒன்ஸ் ஐ கெட் லொக்கேட்டட் டு அ ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஸோ ஐ மெட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த கியூபன் ஸ்கொயர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஹூ காட் பிளேஸ்ட் ஆஸ் அன் ஓப்பன் ஷிஃப்ட் அட்மின் இன் அ பேங்கிங் டு மைண்ட் டூ இயர்ஸ் பேக் ஸோ ஹீ ஷேர்ட் ஹிஸ் டே டு டே ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ் அண்ட் Uh, how the tasks are getting assigned to him jira what are the different other devops tools he is using what is uh, uh, the cloud provider cloud platform which they are using and all these things he was sharing so let's jump in uh, every organization will have uh, different roles and responsibilities day to day activities as the devops is a culture right i mean uh, everyone can adapt uh, a different way of implementing these tools and how we follow that how we define the platforms how the roles and responsibilities and tasks are being designed how many teams do we want l1 team l2 team l3 team operations team so all these things depends upon that specific project and the account and also the funding so in his case at the high level the activities involve uh, design the cluster provide logging solutions cluster scaling registry solutions namespace creation and administration or back that is role based access control installing and managing the operators cluster upgrade application migration security and troubleshooting so all these tasks will be assigned through user stories in jira and he'll start working on on a day to day activities for uh different applications right with respect to uh, let's just break down this with respect to design and engineering i mean uh, uh, let's say uh, they are asking him to design a cluster open shift cluster uh, when a task is given like that it doesn't mean that he can just blindly go and design something and give it to the uh, team rather he has to collaborate with different team understand from the customer what is the requirement how many applications will be in, uh, uh, installed or deployed how many users will be accessing these applications what will be the um, um, uh, tcp right all these things we have to go through that right i mean uh, transaction per second t- i mean uh, tps we have to understand all these things and he has to build a cluster he needs to understand or analyze the size the node size number of workers number of infra nodes type of storage type of authentication to the cluster then type of load balancer to use all these things he has to consider right i mean whether i need to uh, create the cluster on the on premises or the cloud providers because and if you if you ask in my experience when i was working in a banking domain initially they had all their applications running on the data centers in us we had a couple of data centers and later on they added one more data center as well i'm talking about uh, uh 2016 17 and then they slowly started migrating to aws cloud providers so similar way here before even i get into the designing uh designing part i need to understand where they want their cluster to be involved because if it is on prem it is all about a totally different operations installation and everything if it is cloud provider we need to understand which cloud provider are we talking about because uh the casting varies right i mean uh during 2019 or so uh, red hat had an agreement with aws azure google and ibm to have open shift run on their platforms so we need to understand all those aspects and then work on the designing the cluster then logging solutions the logging solution involves understanding of external logging solutions right i mean think about splunk or uh, any other logging tools and we all know that open shift cluster platform is uh not a logging platform meaning not ideal uh to store all the logs inside the cluster as per red hat recommendation itself right i mean all the logs like audit logs infra logs and application logs should be stored outside the cluster so as an ocp engineer he is responsible to have an external logging solution like splunk or uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, they are using in his organization then use a cluster log forwarder in the ocp to send the logs then comes the scaling he is also handling uh, he is responsible to handle the workloads in the cluster and when doing that he has to 
analyze and uh, also uh, explain how it impacts explains or understand how it will impact that environment or the architecture right so the solution should be uh, around all these things registry solutions I mean how do we store and manage the container images for both cluster and for the applications right are we are we going to use docker hub are we going to use uh, k.io red hat registry or am i going to use a private registry what sort of solution i'm going to use will i go to amazon or any other cloud provider registry itself then maintain uh, the projects the namespace and it is responsible to set the resource quota and limit ranges and if required he also needs to get into the project templates as well right because comparing to namespace and projects in uh, uh, i mean open shift one of the major differences in open shift we do have the concept of project templates as well then coming is what kind of orbag to be created and managed and maintained in the cluster for both administrators and for the consumers i mean for and also including for all the stakeholders right i mean what are the different roles am i going to provide including my operations team my consumers my leaders what access am i going to provide installing operators in the clusters and managing them then one of task would be cluster upgrade and when i say cluster upgrade now when it comes to open shift i should focus on open shift upgrade and also the operating system as well because as you all know the operating system is all about uh, uh, rel core os right red hat enterprise linux core os which is a immutable uh, os which is itself is running as a container image so how that also is getting upgraded with the rpm tree technology right i mean as a open shift admin we are responsible for upgrading both open shift container platform and also the underlying operating system so whenever the new version is getting released doesn't mean that i'll just go and tell my uh, all my stakeholders that hey there is a new version which got released and i am going to upgrade that that's not the case at all yeah, we'll start with the research around the new version understand what are the new features comparing to the old one analyze that gather all the requirements right then i mean uh, what are the uh, what will be the impact if i go for the new one what are the advantages i'll be having how it will um, an impact my existing cluster if i go and upgrade so all these things i have to analyze research and then go for it right regular patching of clusters when it comes to migration he is responsible to work closely with all the consumers i mean all the stakeholders the application team you explain them about the platform what are the benefits then start migrating the applications to the open shift container platform then assisting them with the resources like uh, pods services network policies persistent volume claim etc then also responsible to create the helm charts i mean i can go and get the helm chart from operator hub or red hat marketplace other than that if i wanted to create my own crds we can go and start creating the helm charts then solutions for their applications and workflow because every now and then i'll be getting multiple new applications requirements as well and we have to work on those application solutioning and the workflows then when it comes to security i have to talk uh, when he is responsible for managing the acl hardening the cluster i mean the complaints plays a major role right i mean uh, so that's where the scanning tools are involved to make sure that there is no vulnerability uh, we are up to the standards we are sticking to the policies and all these things right i mean or back for service account and how they can be managed and maintained network policies and all these things and along with this we also will be working on the troubleshooting as well when whenever there is an issue i mean we'll get the issues through uh, the service now or uh, through slack channel itself wherein we have uh, multiple channels so uh, the developers all the consumers will pose the errors or we'll get the alerts in the slack channels we'll uh, look into that and start acting upon that right i mean these are uh, the major uh, task day to day task what he is performing in continuation to this particular session we'll be talking about 
the different tools involved around this open shift because he is not only working on the open shift rather how the pipeline comes into the picture okay how he is providing the automated solution how ansible is coming to the picture when it comes to open shift all these things we will see in the next session in continuation to this so until then bye bye guys thank you vanakkam